Hi guys, welcome to the Boss session and my name is Vira. So I'm going to show you with uh, today JBoss integration with uh, my MySQL database. So it's a MariaDB. So I'm going to install this MariaDB in the RHCL 7 version <coughs> and I'm going to uh, now configure this data source in the JBoss EAP6 version and I'm going to test this connection from the JBoss admin console. <coughs> so for the first case, so I have a RHCL 7 Linux machine. So in this, I'm going to install so MariaDB to so MySQL. <coughs> so once this is uh, installed, so we can create this uh, simple database and uh, remotely uh, from other Linux machine we are going to test this in the JBoss. So this is my JBoss server, standalone configurations. <coughs> okay, so this is a simple JBoss standalone.com file and if you over here, this is the default uh, data source to data source so I'm going to pick this simple data source so I start my J, uh, JBoss server okay, and let's come back to uh, this MariaDB uh, its installation is done so let me check it system CDL status MariaDB service so this is the service so it is inactive <coughs> so I'm going to start this Once you start and check the status, okay. So it is up and down. <coughs> so let's start. <coughs> so it is running on double three uh, zero six is the port by default by SQL. Okay, so it is it started successfully. And uh, just try my SQL. So we are into the prompt DB. So show data basis. So this is the default uh, databases are available. So I'm going to create one database. Create the customer. Uh, let me check this. Um, the code level customer. Okay. So this is the customer. So simple a database. I created and the show database. So this is the customer. We created it. So now the JBoss. So we are going to connect to this database. And we have an authentication, the so username and password. For that case, here I'm going to write this is the line. So this is my <coughs> customer. So <coughs> this user will make uh, no, authentication purpose. So I'm just uh, <coughs> so this I think we need to shift into this use uh, customer. So I have to shift shift into this database customer. Okay. <coughs> so I'm going to this. <coughs> so in this, so I'm just giving some permission. So grant, and uh, so can this guy when we're trying to connect from the database using this user, the test and the password test one two three. So you can perform all kind of these operations. So into this particular database. So, okay, and this is the username from this Linux machine where my JBoss is running. There. So this is the place where it is uh, you know, trying to communicate uh, to this database. This is the username and this is the password. And then uh, let's do this. And then if you see the list, so the users which you created on this and remote host to who are the people are trying to connect. So this is the one uh, IP address where my JBoss is trying to communicate it. With this I have the user, I have to use this in the data source. And this is the password, test one. Okay, so let me exit. That's it from here. So, <coughs> so this is done uh, from the database. Okay. So okay, let's go to the data uh, JBoss. So, <coughs> okay, to to six. So if we go to the, the JBoss, we need to create the modules. Okay. So I'm going to do this from the admin console uh, CLI. 
so into I started my JBoss server. So just uh, into this CLI. So here we have a possibility option the module. So I'm gonna execute this line. So make sure you need to download one uh, jar file. So so how about this uh, version of the jar file MariaDB? So I kept it inside my root folder. Okay, so this I will have referred as a resource and make sure you have to give this particular path so this is going to make it inside your modules folder so inside my modules folder so right now you have a system folder right now so now it is going to create org and it is going to create the maria db okay this is normal dependencies so i just done this and uh, let's go and see this so inside the my modules we have a org so org and the x maria db so that's what we mentioned org and maria db and as usual, uh, main and inside this is the jar file is copied. So this is the path we to the part. This is my local. Okay. So the <coughs> this is the modules anyhow. So I created this modules and then what else? So so I think we need to data source and driver information. So was search. So I'm gonna uh, create this another star. So drivers. So this is the driver information. I'm going to convert this. It's good. This in the line. So, <coughs> so in the XML. Okay. So I just execute this line. So I give here the Maria DP. So this is the driver name. Okay. So make sure and uh, this org dot Maria DB should match with this org Maria DB, which we executed this module. Okay. Export this and this is the class name. Driver class name of about this Maria DB, and this is executed. And the next on uh, the major one, so data source information. So, so here, so this data source information make sure this driver name should be matched with this driver which we given in Maria DB. So these two should match. And this is connection URL, and uh, this is place where my uh, we installed our uh, Maria DB post double six zero six it is running. And uh, what is the user and password and the table which we created? So, so customer is the database which we created, and the uh, username we made it as a test, and we made it this password as a test one two three. That's it. And this is your uh, data source name, and this is the JNDS stuff. Okay, this is done. And uh, now configurations. Let's go and see this standalone XML file. And. Uh, <coughs> so, okay. So here it is just a deployed. Uh, so the uh, you know, which we write we created. And then if I see here, three to six standalone configurations. Standalone XML. And just come down. So this is the data source now which we created. I executed from the CLI, and uh, this is the JND and in this uh, we are going to specify in our code to execute this uh, see the example code. So here uh, I have to keep the same uh, JND uh, lookup name, so whatever we given over here, and uh, and this is my IP address where my Maria DB is equal is running, and the support and the database name. So make sure this is a username and password. Uh, this we executed like this. So make sure you have to do specify this what is the user you are trying to communicate from the JBoss user and password. And this is the remote host of your JBoss. So this is what executed, and this is the driver information. Make sure this driver name uh, MariaDB and should match with this in the driver. Okay, inside the de data source. So should be it's going to load this, and this is my class name. <coughs> okay, that's a cool. And it is you have to see this is the deployed to uh, driver information which we created right now. So I will going to open this my admin console of the JBoss server. So to check this test the connection but it is going to really communicate it or not so you have to say that there you have to see that you know the communication is success that's the important one but then after this you can deploy this any kind of code then you can test this okay so my JBoss is updated <coughs> It is started right here. Yeah. Okay. okay, 
this is how she was open so now you will know as open that will end up being onto the fast of the configurations so this is EFE 6.4 so what you need to do so I not uh, added one more property actually so enable so so that's why the body policy is disabled okay so let me make sure it's enable it <coughs> okay so it's enabled so here is our uh, change DNA and the connections so this is IP address and port information so security user and password over here you can edit so a connection and type the connection so connection is successful okay so this is about this is communication so then now you can deploy your code and you know so as usual previous sessions so and you can test this uh, you know, get the records and insert the records of whatever the code you can write down that's all on this session the basic stuff about this uh, jboss uh, maria db indication about to test the connection that's all so we'll come back with uh, another video thanks for watching